people with relational authority uh, can cost one. Welcome to today's DDRX. The prescription is say a blessing. Psalm 107 verse 2. I have in the studio uh, today uh, Titi Thalia Hotton. She's married. <laughs> What's your question? <laughs> okay, so my question is, can one spouse curse them? Hmm. People with relational authority uh, can curse one. Because God has so ordered human society that in certain situations, one person has authority over another person or persons. For example, father over his family, husband over his wife, pastor over congregation, teacher over the pupil. So Jacob cursed Rachel, his wife, in the Bible. Things, this happened after Jacob fled with his wives and belongings from Nabon, his father-in-law. So Rachel stole her father's household gods. First of all, Laban shouldn't have had household gods. And secondly, Rachel shouldn't have stolen them. <laughs> so Laban was angry. Jacob, not knowing Rachel has stolen the household god, placed a curse in Genesis 31 32. With whom, whomever you find your gods, do not let him leave. In the presence of our brethren, identify what I have of yours and take it with you. For Jacob did not know that Rachel has stolen them. Do you know Rachel died during childbirth? So the, the Bible says, Then they journeyed from Bethel, and when there was but a little distance to go to Ephrath, Rachel labored in childbirth, and she had hard labor. Now it came to pass, when she was in hard labor, uh, that the midwife said to her, Do not fear, you have this son also. And so it was, as her soul was departing. Uh, for she died, that she called his name Ben-Oni, but his father called him Benjamin. So Rachel died and was buried on the way to Ephrath, and that is Bethlehem. And Jacob set a pillar on her grave, which is the pillar of Rachel's grave to this day. But, but it's interesting that in 1 Samuel 10, verses 2 to 3, Samuel, somebody with relational authority again, broke this cause in Saul's life because Saul is from the tribe of Benjamin. This is what the Bible says, when you have departed from me today, you find two men by Rachel's tomb in the territory of Benjamin at Sersha. And they will say to you, the donkeys which you went to look for have been found. And now your father has ceased caring about the donkeys and is worrying about you saying, what shall I do about my son? Then you shall go on forward from there and come to the terebrine tree. So. Samuel was able to break that curse. It's like a generational curse, like a limitation in the tribe of Benjamin. Let's say a blessing together in Daniel 6, 27. God delivers and rescues, and he works signs and wonders in heaven and on earth. Who has delivered Daniel from the power of the lions? That same God will deliver you. God bless.